this is your reading for November 2020. Want to get the most clear, helpful message to help you guys navigate. Um, this card's been coming out a lot on like every single person's reading, and it's been in reverse. Despite no matter how I shovel, shuff, shuffle um, and twist around my cards, but it's your card, so you've been popping up in a lot of people's readings. Um, if that's the an energy that resonates for them, so you guys. I feel like you guys are all up in the mix. Um, and Aries has been coming out a lot too for everybody. I think that Aries um, and Sagittarius and Cancer. Or not Cancer, Capricorn. Ugh, there's just a lot going on, I feel like, in the month of November. Probably good though because we get keep things moving now that Mercury retrogrades over, right? Um, but we'll get right into this. So, Libras. Um... You do not want justice in a manner, um, in a matter. There's something going on that you don't want justice or fairness on. Interesting. I don't know if that means you want to get away with something either. Um, let's get some more insight because something to do with. It with a boss, whether that's you being the boss or somebody else being a boss. Interesting. Um, there's something in the past that you could have went for and you got it. that can be influencing you wanting something to not be fair. I don't, I'm not, I'm just, that card's been coming out for a lot of people too. This is an interesting, this is interesting. Um, in the near future, I do see you getting caught up in something. So I feel like you get, you get caught or you catch somebody doing something. Ooh. Harmony. I'm glad there's some kind of good card out here. I feel like Harmony is the right one that I want coming out for you guys because I don't know what's really going on here. Um, but I feel like you get caught up with something or somebody else gets caught doing something, being trying to be sneaky. And right now, I feel like you are getting out of your head, getting out of being stuck, feeling stuck. Um, there's something you've been overthinking that's been on your mind for a very long time. Um, it's almost as if you've been moped, moping in your emotions in regards to something or someone. But you're getting out of that, though. You're not saying stuck in that in no that no more you understand that you have more control over the way you think and how you feel feel about a situation um, more than what you thought you did and there may be a conversation that you need to have with somebody who is possibly kind of immature um, passionate person who's very guarded um, you need, you should probably talk to that person. Um, I don't even say guarded, but they're, I'm wondering if you guys have had a lot of conflict, um, or they have had a lot of conflict in their life, which could be why you're getting some type of reaction from them or potentially or feel like there might be a potential for some kind of reaction. Um, but this person is is tired because whoever you need to talk to, this person's tired because they've been fighting. Um, they feel like they're constantly battling. Um, they're just trying to protect 
what's theirs and what they've been fighting for. So they're seeing, they're like, it's like they're ready for more. Um, it's like they're ready. It's almost like they've been doing this for a while. Um, but they, despite them having doing this for a while, maybe they're constantly battling too because they're a tad bit immature. Um, and if they're not immature, mm, I feel like they're immature. Um, the person that you need to talk to anyways. Could possibly be somebody younger than you as well. Um, and I feel like what's going to make things harder um, for you is a new love, an offer, a new love. So I don't know if you have somebody new or if it's that you're wanting to start over. Um, but I feel like for most of you, there's going to be a new opportunity to do a new potential relationship, um, or emotional bond with somebody else. And the best advice for you would be to just hold off in offering any love to somebody right now. Um, or giving any message of love to somebody anyways. Because you need to understand not everything is clear right now. And I feel like you might be feeling kind of like you have to be grown, like man, you you probably prefer that things be more fun, lighthearted, playful, but like I don't feel that, I feel like something's really heavy and serious that you have to deal with right now. Um, and there might not be as much light shed on the situation, um, but in the end you may have to stop giving into some type of situation as well. Um, I see that Yeah, I do see, yeah, so there's a new love that could end up making all this stuff a little bit more difficult. Um, yeah, I would, I would hold off. I was just going to just repeat everything I just said. Let me get some insight here with this Harmony card. Harmony, you deserve to feel good about your existence. The card is symbolic of your personal beliefs and what will bring you happiness in your life. Ganesha is asking you to remember to radiate warmth and energy. Take some time to reflect on your personal values and attitudes. What do you believe will bring you the outcomes you are longing for in order to have a complete and happy life? The color orange um, can refer to a period of socializing, activity, and new adventures. Orange is the color of the sacral, sac sh oh my God, sacral, sh sacral chakra and is associated with the sexual organs and reproductive systems. It can symbolize happiness and love. We store our feelings, emotions, pleasure, sensuality, intimacy, and connection in this domain. How deserving do you feel? When you feel that you deserve good, you treat yourself well and require that others treat you well also. When the sacral, sh sacral chakra, oh my God, say that six times, sacral chakra, say it six times. <laughs> I can't, clearly, <laughs> um, even say it once. When the sacral chakra is clear and the energy is in balance, you are friendly, compassionate, and empathetic with a concern for others. You will experience a very strong sense of belonging. You feel good about your life, enjoy time with friends and do what is necessary to bring yourself in alignment with what you want from relationships in your life. So I think this is a great card to have. And now it was like, it's really weird that I even talked about the color because I feel like 
I was noticing that color predominantly in your reading is like a lot of the gold and the blues. Um, also, wearing yellow could help um, attract that energy that you need to open up your sacral chakra as well. I believe it's gold. I'm assuming it's gold because I'm not as um, up to um, knowledge on the chakras, to be honest. Um, but I'm assuming that that's it and I would feel like I'm assuming right. Um, but you could double check and just look online on how to open up your sacral chakra. Um, that could be extremely helpful with um, the energy because um, if there's a block of blockage of energy there um, or if you're feeling like there's you can't find this harmony or balance that you need to be able to fully enjoy life, that is another way spiritually um, avenue to to find that balance and the things that you need. So I do encourage you to look that up. Um, they say I feel like you could wear that color. Sometimes they say eating certain types of food. Um, typically, I feel like it's the same color of the chakra or whatever, but I would just read into it. And I think that would be a really great resource and be helpful and beneficial for you all. Again, this is a general reading, so you could be dealing with any sign. Um, but um, you could also, the cards that stick out to me, you could be dealing with a Leo, an Aries, um, another Libra such as yourself. Um, again, it's a general reading though. I do see that there might be a few people that are, are in this situation. I think you might be juggling um, a couple of options or maybe there's a person in your past or present um, and there might be, again, somebody in your present or near future um, that's that you may be dealing with. Let's see anything else stands out to me I do see you have seven eight nine so I feel like you're moving yep as a matter of fact that's crazy six seven eight nine so as and that's in the order of how I was putting out the card. So I feel like you are heading in the right direction. Um, you're going through um, the things that everyone in life goes through, right? Um, I don't see you taking steps back forwards or go, um, going too far ahead. I think you're just taking normal steps in life and it right, might be frustrating and you might not feel in your element as much as you would like to be right now. Um, but I do see you heading um, in the right path. Um, and I do see, see major life changes for you as well. Like um, things that are going on right now are a big deal. Um, so you'll definitely, you'll be feeling it. Um, but yes, that is what I have for you guys. I really am hoping, sending good vibes. Really, really look up the sacral chakra. I think that's really going to help you. Um, why did I make I did that backwards. Um, so I don't know what's exactly going on. Again, I don't feel like you guys, I want to just reiterate to it. I don't feel like you guys want something. Because <sighs> I don't want to paint you guys as like, I'm just saying what the cards have here. I think you want things to work in a way like maybe where the rules are bent a little bit for you. I don't think you want something unfair to happen. Let me just like clarify that. But I feel like you want some kind of leniency or rules bent. And, and maybe you feel that way because you've done that for somebody else. Um, or that you're used to people doing that for you. I do not know if this is a general reading. But I do want to clarify that because I think that... Um, I just wanted to make sure that you guys don't feel any way. You should be watching these to have like a, um, a message that's out there for everybody. Because these are general readings that a lot of people watch. Um, and the purpose is to give you guys helpful information to get through um, every month um, and through life. So I do want to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, be sure to like and subscribe and I will check you guys next month Libra. Thank you.